scrambling to get generators he's up in Northern California where up to 2 million people are in the danger of these fire storms. And by the way, this is all by design. This is a fire burnout. This is not a, this is a controlled burn. In other words, they set up fire breaks, but they're not actually remediating or stopping the fires, which they could. Deborah, give us the latest news on what's going on in Northern California. Because, yeah, by the way... Well, yeah. well, I am in uh, Sonoma County. Again, it's 60 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge. Everyone may be hearing about the Kid Kincaid Fire. Uh, that is the fire that is burning up by the, Mayo, the Biocomis Mountains, uh, where the largest geothermal plant is in the world. And we have a friend, Matt Bacon, who is a retired fire captain of 33 years that is only a few miles from the epicenter of the start of this controlled and managed burn. He's up there with only one other person sending the top of the mountain. We're trying to get uh, aerial support in for the mountain, but he's in the pathway of the designed and planned fires. Now, I want to explain what everybody is seeing right now with the firefighters defending towns and, and homes that are burning. That's only to show that the firefighters are trying to save homes, when the real backstory is what they're doing in the WUI. W-U-I is an acronym for Wildlands Urban Interface. That's all part of the Wildlands um, uh, Network that has been in play now in the climate action plans. And Michael Kaufman uh, brought that to our attention in the mid-'90s when he found the, um, uh, the Wildlands Project map uh, resulting out of the 1992 Rio de Janeiro uh, Earth Summit. So what we're seeing right now is a massive depopulation and a massive intentional um, disruption and, and forced relocation of millions of people. This is war. And the different components that we're experiencing here, we're just passing a Pacific gas and electric truck right now. I will add uh, that uh, the power has been off in my area for a few days. They are looking to possibly re-energize parts of the system uh, for a, a few hours through tomorrow morning. We're heading into another manufactured, weaponized weather event now where we see wind being cultivated as um, literally squalls because they can create the wind they are. Uh, we can be dead calm and then just like a squall that I experienced out at sea. The winds can amp up to 50 miles an hour uh, easily within a few seconds, and they whip them around in many directions. So we're seeing that kind of wind weapons systems being used on us in the higher elevations. Uh, some of the wind uh, has been told that it is um, going at about um, 80 to 90 miles per hour, and in some instances, even 100 miles an hour. This is all intentional weather weapons. We're under mass attack under multiple ways right now. We're under heavy smoke, smoky skies. We're understanding that there are conditions out uh, at sea that are holding the smoke within our valley. This is another weapons system. Right now, uh, I am at a four-way uh, intersection. Lights are out everywhere. We're having to do boulevard stops. There have been many car accidents uh, in our area because people are not stopping for the signal. Uh, we are uh, experiencing, again, 200, about, close to 200,000 people have been told to evacuate the area. Many people have driven even south of San Francisco, where right now some of the corporate hotels are ratcheting up their um, hotel rates. Uh, this has been discouraged after the last uh, fire two years ago, where uh, right. everyone was taking advantage of all the fire victims. So the victimization is uh, certainly now massive psychological warfare, where they have uh, over nearly 200,000 people under trauma. This is trauma-based mind control, fearing for their lives, being told they must leave their homes immediately. And watch out. Uh, we've got people driving crazy. We're driving down a very smoky road right now towards Santa Rosa. Uh, we're trying to help some people that their generators have uh, failed on them. We had a report this morning from Matt Dakin up in the mountain. Um, I will explain what he is facing right now and what he faced yesterday. Um, we have some photographs we will be putting up on StopTheCrime.net new, which is our video channel, uh, where you see the smoke 
from the burn of the Kincaid fire, and right above it is the air support that you would expect uh, given the circumstances of weaponization. And what do I mean by air support? I'm talking chemtrails. We've been getting air support over the fires called chemtrails. That's the kind of air support we're now getting. Yeah, but not just and chemtrails. I, Let me insert something important that you, you agree with. Uh, we talked on the weekend. Uh, I had a military personnel guy that's my techie. I just talked to him this morning, Al. And he was up there last year when the fires were on, and there were so many uh, drones in the air with dues of directed energy weapons starting fires. They couldn't get the helicopters in to drop fire retardant. Please continue. Well, I can tell, to, tell you right now today is calm. Uh, in talking to Matt this morning, uh, he survived last night, which were heavy winds. Uh, right now, while they're reporting calm, up there they're whipping up winds. We've got... Um, yeah, easy some, to whip them um, up by the changes in torsion fields in the upper atmosphere. Through the yeah. satellite-based things, they've inserted thorium, strontium, barium, and aluminum, and used the torsion field that's generating satellites to the next generation from the HARP system in Alaska. Please continue. Yes. So what Matt is facing right now is while we are hearing reports that it's calm, just passing another PG&E truck, Right. right now, Ro a.k.a. Rothschild, who's behind the weaponization now. It doesn't exactly. mean the people that are working on restoration of power are part of that program. They are getting paychecks, though, sadly, from Rothschild. But having said that, um, Matt reported that um, he was watching fire retardant dumps. Again, fire retardant is very toxic and poisonous. So they come to our rescue and aid not only with the aerosol spraying chemtrail programs to cause massive ignition, and they come overhead with retardant that is toxic and poisonous in and of itself. So he's watching the, um, he was told by other uh, people uh, that he knows uh, that the plan, the plan to, um, to, uh, excuse me, I've been distracted. Um, the, plan, the plan, and he's a fire, he is the guy's a fire expert himself. Go ahead. Please continue. Yes, he is. The plan, as he's been told, is to allow his his area where he lives on 80 acres to burn all the way through to the county line. And uh, they're planning their fire breaks. He hears the dozers um, and can see them off on the county line where they plan to stop the burn. So while we're all looking at the homes that are burning, we're all listening to the massive evacuations, they're burning the wildlands urban interface intentionally wow. to depopulate it. So right. I want everyone to keep in mind what is really happening. Again, massive psychological warfare, massive emotional trauma to everyone here, massive increases of PTSD. We have also a very important video up on StopTheCrime.net on our video YouTube channel, which is to find StopTheCrime.net new. Just type right. in on YouTube and you'll find our videos. Uh, we see a, 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 a fellow who... Fortunately, spent time looking at the uh, fire alert cameras that operate 24-7, 365 now on the hilltops, not only in our county here, Dr. Bill, but they've also deployed these in San Diego County and Lake Tahoe area as well. He was looking at that, and he saw the beginnings of the fire being started near the geysers, the, the large geothermal operation. Uh, he saw a satellite. You can see it. You can watch it. Go go watch it on StopTheCrime.net. Right. This was a, a, a satellite-directed energy weapon initiation of the fires, so it seems. But now yeah, that's what I was told, too, that they have satellite-based too, as well as uh, lower lower altitude. And, of course, they weaponize the atmosphere by including fire accelerants in it, including nanoparticle, aluminum, thorium, strontium, and barium that increase the chances of setting fires and progressing them. So they... Fires are not behaving the same way, uh, and, uh, you know, if we have a break later, I'll talk about some technology that now, needs to be now, developed. Now, what's, what's really important to understand is we have uh, power outages uh, all the way on down to San Francisco. Uh, people are without power. And they were telling us the day before yesterday that the burns from the mountain range was going to burn all the way to the coast. They have uh, some of the coastal communities, Bodega Bay, other areas uh, under evacuation orders also. This is the enormity of the PSYOPs and what they're doing here to people. They are vacating entire towns, and uh, they've got now military operations to uh, not allow, they say, to not allow looting, although there has been 
reports of looting. And uh, we knew that that was occurring um, after the fires two years ago. They were actually busting in looters from the Bay Area by the hundreds that were looting uh, the evacuated areas. So I am now heading into Santa Rosa. It's very, very smoky. Um, that's another part of the warfare weaponization is the deadly smoke. We know that the firefighters that were fighting the fires back two years ago now have high degrees <laughs> of mercury in their blood. Also, just like the responders in 9-11. Now, exactly, Dr. Bill, yeah. you and I were talking about this being a nationwide assault. It's not California first. This is no experiment. Experimenting is over. It's just intensified. And what, what do I mean by that? Well, I, I, we ran into a trucker a couple of nights ago that was from Alabama. And he's a private trucker. He drives all over the United States. He's reporting going through a number of different states where there are small, uh, I, actually isolated and um, unpopulated small towns now where schools are abandoned, buildings are abandoned. We're not being told any of this, what's happening in our own country, but, but, because of the sectionalizing but, of the media. But, we but, but you know, you got to understand these are all in documents that you are on your site. You can go to Deagle, well, D-E-A-G-E-L dot com. You can go to the World Watch Institute. You can go to the, the George Guidestones. This is all laid out. They tell you exactly what they're doing, and now they're doing it. Well, they absolutely are, and it's coming in many forms because they're creating massive mental illness with our children in school, teaching them that they may only have 10 to 12 years in order to survive climate That's change. why that now, uh, uh, Gre now, Greta Lundberg, yeah, that little child with uh, Asperger syndrome that's Swedish, and they're screwing up her face and screaming at people in the United Nations. This is all by design, and the people behind her bankers are not going to fix the environment. They want to kill well, most of the human population. They want to depopulate yeah, well, the coastal and rural areas of the world. Yeah, what's important to understand is how the fires are being positioned. What, is, right. what we're being told now is it is climate change. Now this is a, they're saying... No, it's not doing it all, no. It's all crap. Uh, they're, they're, they are telling us this is a clear result of climate change. All these fires, all the droughts, which right. are all created. Now they're also telling us on the radio today to not use too much water. And uh, obviously yeah. that's going to be the next attack, Dr. Bill. All the documents tell us about the allocation well, of the, water. Well, the governor has already passed a law last year, uh, Newsom, when he got elected that he wants to reduce it to 55 gallons, and I think it's, what is the next year that the law it's, comes it's, into place? It's 2020, 55 gallons of water allocated per person per day. And, not possible. Uh, it's not going to work. It's not possible. Well, it will if they turn your water off remotely because you have a smart water meter that uh, yeah, can well, be uh, controlled uh, I, I, To be honest with you, I think it's time for a pro se litigant and lock and load time. I think we're actually well, at the point now where this is a physical war. This is war now. Well, the problem is we can see the psyops and the uh, virtual reality that people have now been uh, converted into. We are in the matrix. And when you see 200, nearly 200,000 people uh, being um, evacuated and they are doing it, uh, even if they're, uh, you know, many, many miles away, uh, you can see the a mass amount of fear and how they have controlled the population. It's clear to see. Uh, under the circumstances that we face here right now, that they have managed the population. Into well, the problem is the population into, doesn't wait, believe. Wait, wait, wait. In, into obedience. I, I needed to get that last word in. We yeah. have become extremely obedient under the psyops and the warfare exactly. mechanisms that have uh, yeah, well, used. In other words, they brainwashed to the point where people didn't believe it until it's actually happening, and now they're desperate and in panic. Well, the, the, the sad reality is the majority of people believe these are natural wildfires. Uh, the They're not natural. Of, people, of course not. The yeah. uh, more, majority of people do believe that uh, this is uh, climate change, that we have uh, destroyed the earth, when in fact you need to look at the, the report from Iron Mountain to understand yeah. this was intentionally created. Exactly. We'll be back in a couple minutes with more information from Deborah. Believe every syllable of every word and every document she says. Do not disagree. And if you want to disagree, 
I dare you, call Do it. Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's life support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's life support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life support is the best complete nutritious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared, is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, lumen photon therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a lumen photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the lumen photon therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body, Get a Lumen Photon Machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888 Stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bill provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. 
Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridyne at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. Okay. And this is Dr. Bill Deagle. Uh, Deborah had to go. She's actually in Panic City right now running around. We'll try to call her back. She may call back into the studio through our call-in number, which is, by the way, if you have questions or issues, 818-818-6401. Now, um, I'm going to go through some of the science now so you understand exactly what's going on. And this isn't speculation. I developed Top Secret Clearance. We have, uh, with the Heart Project going back over four decades, we went transition to satellite-based torsion field uh, technology, which generates gravitonic waves to control weather systems and they had to turn the air into a plasma, which is nanoparticle, uh, thorium, strontium, barium, and aluminum nanoparticles. These nanoparticles allow you to pulse the uh, pulse, uh, torsion fields through the atmosphere to control weather systems, trigger off and set up uh, what's called resonant waves to trigger off earthquakes and volcanoes, and to control what's called the five layers of the Van Allen radiation belt called the uh, magnetosphere of the Earth. The magnetosphere is generated by the fact the Earth is a, magne- is a nuclear reactor rotating around a solid core. And they actually reproduced this technology in North Bay, Ontario underground using a joint scientist from uh, various parts of our deep state that did advanced research and was able to generate a torsion field. At 22,000 miles, out, there's three layers to the, tor- to the what's called the Van Allen radiation belt and situated in the North Pole uh, uh, for 10 to 20, 35,000 years is the dark night satellite. The uh, second and the third layer of the, uh, the fourth layer basically of the Van Allen radiation belt is the upper troposphere between 35 and 45,000 feet up to 70,000 plus. And the bottom layer of the, uh, of the, if you want to call it magnetosphere, is the lithosphere or the crust of the earth. Now if you hit specific frequencies, you can actually trigger off earthquakes. For example, we actually hit a resonant frequency over an underlined site we could see through torch and field imaging in western China that was getting ready for an invasion of the Middle East. And about five years ago, we hit it with a torch and field that actually caused a massive superquake that killed around a third of a million Chinese, including over 90,000 children. Now, some of the stuff I'm mentioning to you is classified, so, you know, we're not, it's not open to kind of cross-indexing and so on. You need to understand, though, that the, the, uh, the they have dues or directed energy weapons in space that can trigger off fires and low earth orbit or just regular drones that can fly and hit with a dew. In fact, I can get a $1,200, if you want to call it, drone that can fly 75 miles at 72 plus 75 miles an hour. And I can put green lasers on it that can start a fire two miles away. So it's not hard to do. I mean, for under 1500 bucks, I can actually create a, a dew weapon that can actually trigger off fires. Now, you have to understand why is this happening. Well, they're, they're manipulating the weather to cause droughts. They're manipulating weather to cause fires, and they're increasing fire retardant in the atmosphere, which includes these nanoparticles. Now, when they dry out the regular uh, ground and they do these things, and they bring in things like the Santa Ana winds. In fact, it's here in Southern California until just yesterday. It was in the mid- mid-90s, hotter than the hottest days in the summer. Not normal. This is the end of October. And in Northern California, it's even worse. And what they did is they dried it out, then they started the fires, and of course there were so many dews or direct energy weapons in the air, even at low altitude, that my friend who's in the military actually said to me that they had so many they couldn't even bring helicopters to drop the fire retardant to turn off the fires. Now, there's a number of things you can do to stop fires. When I worked in lower British Columbia, the first thing, and this is back in the 70s, I learned to stop fires, number one, you clean out the dots and the dead wood at the base of the, tr- of the forest. And you also track to see if there's any what's called root fires. In other words, fires are going on the roots underground. They're going to track for months, and then you create a fire break to make sure they can't spread, and then all of a sudden the tree explodes. You also have to make sure that there's no high winds carrying uh, fires to the, to the tops of the trees. So it can either go to the tops of the trees or the roots. And what people should understand, if you don't clean out the dust, if you don't clean out the back roads and clean out these things, you've got a, a basically fire accelerants. Now, smart grid generates sparks. These towers, I'll get Deborah back. So, Deborah, continue, please. Yes, hi, Dr. Bill. We're just now getting alerts on our phones up here in Northern California where the Kincaid fire is being 
uh, intentionally burning up the wildlands area up here. This is all a controlled burn. We're getting right. uh, uh, alerts right now on our phones saying that Napa County, which is just north of San Francisco, has issued a red flag warning for the entire county uh, this uh, Tuesday, starting tomorrow at 8 a.m. to right. 4 p.m. They say high fire danger. Use extreme caution. So what's happening is they're giving us a bit of a reprieve today, um, the illusion of a reprieve. Why? I, while I'm certain they're assessing uh, the damage and the intention of the continuation and, and, again, creating the wind events, the squall wind technologies and weaponization. And this is my assumption. This is not in a document. What they did here in the fires of 2017 and what they did to Paradise was overkill and overuse of directed energy weapons. It was becoming very obvious to people as they were right. starting to understand that these were not wildfires, that these were directed energy weapons with the dustification of everything that was destroyed. So exactly. that's lessons learned. Uh, they are now using wind as weather weapons. Uh, I was informed by Matt Dakin, who's up there on that hill. With his and Matt's a firefighter. Matt, Matt is a firefighter. Yeah, he informed me that the most death of firefighters are due to the wind-driven fires. So right now, they've now initiated wind squall weather weapons systems. This gives right. them a greater plausibility, and it, it, it really does uh, allow people to continue the illusion that these are natural events. So right. I think what we're seeing now uh, is squall wind technologies now. And uh, what we're now being told with the alert that I just read in our phones is another red flag um, alert for tomorrow, which means that if Matt can survive through today and tomorrow night up there and save his home, uh, it'll be a miracle because he realizes that they're coming after him. He is, right. he is, he is behind enemy lines. He's in enemy territory. The entire country is enemy territory for us because we are clearly the enemy and we're right. experiencing massive intentional relocation and and land grabs and uh, redistribution uh, of now, wealth if, in if, fact, they, if, if they succeed they're going to displace several million northern californians aren't they well that's obviously the intention now i want to report further around the peripheral um going north many people were evacuating to uh, uh, northern areas such as Nevada City, which is near the town of Paradise. I was receiving reports last night that they're out of power. Nevada City's out of power also. Much of that property is on well water. They're out of water. The gas stations are, are pumped dry. They have no uh, power. People are uh, paying uh, to siphon gas out of people's gas tanks that are desperate for gas. Uh, they're, again, on well up there. People are also um, uh, trading well, for you, water. You need, you need to have power in order to be able to pump your well unless you have solar or backup batteries and so on. I know that, you, you know, ideally, in fact, I talked to a lady today that brings them in from China. She called me, actually. It's really interesting because I put in a call some months ago. And there's another company out of South Korea and America where they may bring in silicon salt, but... You, you need to have a generator, well, well, which we have, well, and you need we'll to also have... Those, we'll the, talk about those solutions later, but yes, uh, right now we are in an active war, a battle where people's lives are being threatened. Right. We are certainly being uh, covered in smoke, which is, again, as I said earlier, is right. also and it, a weapon. It, 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 and uh, I can look out. I'm looking out at the hills right now that I cannot see because it is so smoky. Well, let me tell you, why. as a firefighter, and I, again, I'm an expert on occupational medicine, including firefighters, you need a Scott Air Pack. Number two, you need a full body suit, which means it covers your entire body so you don't get the chemicals go through your skin. And uh, most people don't have that. And at the very least, you need a NIOSH N95 mask, which we have, which will cut out 95 to 99 percent of the smoke, nanoparticles, and chemicals. It's not just particles; it's chemicals. These are heavy metals, fire accelerants, all kinds of crap that you're absorbing. And people don't realize that's why firefighters are exposed to toxic chemicals. So if they get heart disease and vascular or lung disease, it's part of the disability. Every single firefighter in the world is exposed to this crap all the time. And if you don't detox, like a lot of people dying after 9/11. 
And there, by the way, there were 3,000 died in 9-11, but since then, over 75,000 have died from the crap that was released from the buildings when they demolished them. And there's a third of a million that are dying right now that aren't dead yet. So people need to understand what they're doing to you guys isn't just burning out your home. They're destroying your health, aren't they? Well, that's the intention, of course. Um, again, uh, we have to understand that we're also under military siege. I can tell you those people that have evacuated the man mandatory burn zones are being uh, denied return of access. The sheriff has all those areas on lockdown. So part of the siege is we're on, on lockout and lockdown. In, in other words, our travel is being massively impaired. Whether you're near the fires, actual burn flame fires or not, uh, many areas you are not able to return. I'm looking at uh, a uh, Instagram photograph that came off of the Sonoma County Sheriff uh, Instagram in Windsor, California, which is in the burn zone of a uh, military uh, heavy Humvee that is that is parking across the street, so um, uh, avoiding people's access. So uh, we're, we're seeing also military overreach massively. We're already in, uh, we've already, we're a taken country. Now they're using uh, silent weapons systems on us. Again, we're going to be reporting. Well, the, uh, you, you recorded uh, also that, and you mentioned the previous shows, they're using insurance weapons, they're using uh, financial yeah, me, weapons so the people are burned me, out and can't even rebuild. Please continue. Yeah, yeah. let me explain what that is. Uh, insurance is a weapon also in the sense that Rothschild, uh, of course, controls the banks and right. controls all the weapons systems. So what right. we're seeing now uh, in many areas is it, uh, insurance being canceled. Now, here in California, they have a fallback insurance program, which is greatly limited with uh, coverage, um, right. much less uh, than it would ever be to re be able to rebuild. So this is another way they're depopulating areas as well, not allowing, uh, not allowing, not allowing uh, the rebuild because of the insurance. So I'm I'm looking at a variety of ways that we're being depopulated, uh, literally being relocated, and it's on the coastal areas. It's in the high fire areas now. Cal Fire has a burn them up list. You can go on StopTheCrime.net, or you can just type in Cal Fire in the burn list. You will see all the cities in the state of California that are in the severe high fire zone. This is a map. This is a war map. This is how they are uh, going to And by the to way, that war map right. also affects insurance. Uh, where We had fires about five, six miles away last year. Two of my neighbors tried to sell their homes, and we are in an area that's a long distance from fires. And the two neighbors, they couldn't sell their homes because the initial people looking at it said, oh, we can't buy insurance. We do have an insurance company that will provide insurance, one insurance that's very reliable. But the insurance carriers are actually now weaponizing insurance, so they won't even give you fire insurance, even if you're miles from a fire now here in California. Well, that's true. Also, uh, it's the same situation along the coastlines with the low-lying coastal regions and right. the technologies that are being used to increase the coastal um, shore erosion. Uh, but we'll get into that on another show because right. today uh, I certainly want to emphasize the fact that we are under mass siege here. And I've been listening to the weaponized media also that is reporting on these fires in the context that it's natural. And um, certainly we know it's not. Uh, we have to all now take the red pill and understand we are in a matrix. Most people are living in the illusion of a world that is not anymore. Right. And, uh, the well, they're still going to find out the, the hard way because they're going to be burned out of their home or going to have toxic smoke, or they're going to find they're so displaced by what's going on, or they, if it is burned out, they'll try to return and try to rebuild, and their insurance won't allow them to do that. Well, that's exactly right. And even if you're not burned out, and, but you're in the high-intensity burn zone, if you have a mortgage, for example, and they cancel your insurance, which they are doing, the mortgage companies, I was talking to some people recently, where they couldn't get uh, replacement coverage. The mortgage right. company started uh, fining them, penalizing them, uh, because they did not have insurance. Generally in the past, the mortgage companies would initiate coverage 
whether the homeowner yeah. wanted their particular we're, we're, insurance coverage or not, but that's not the case now. Okay, we're going um, in a few seconds, uh, Deborah. We'll continue this in four minutes. So your uh, dialogue, I'm glad to call back in. Back in a few minutes. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet, DR, is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the regeneration uh, of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, A-A-E-M, A-C-A-M, A-4-M, of Nutramedical.com and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations to referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc., we have life support that detoxes phase two detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption and helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle. Using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and green drink in the world with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it, too, with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit-flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. I remember when, I remember, I remember Maybe when later I on you can figure it out. So and we're back with uh, Deborah Tavares. Hey. She's back on. And we're going to wrap up the show. Deborah, you got some announcements. Go ahead. Yeah, I do. Okay, so this is Deborah Tavares reporting live from the scene of the crime. It is... Uh, Monday, it is October the 28th, 2019. Uh, we're reporting on the Kincaid fire that's burning in the Mayacamas Mountains above the Sonoma County area. 
where the largest geothermal operation is. Uh, we are reporting also on Matt, who's the retired fire captain that is holding the mountain on the uh, east side of the uh, geothermal operation. Uh, we will be posting an interview that we did earlier today with Matt on our video YouTube channel on StopTheCrime.net. I am looking at a report right now which is absolutely outrageous because Gavin Newsom, of course, is saying that this is all a result of climate change. But yeah, we are now exactly. looking at a news report where Governor uh, Newsom is uh, renewing calls for um, Warren Buffett to buy Pacific Gas and Electric as we continue to experience widespread uh, power shutoff. So we, we're turning it over into criminal hands even more. I right. can say to you that uh, the enormity of the takedown of this country with so many people still in oblivion, again, is a huge concern because it really does show how many people have already been placed under mass mind control, hive mind control. Right. When right. the media can, can take control, when these types of weaponized consequences can convince people that this is climate change and natural fires, <clears throat> we're, we're done. And I can tell you, for those of us that understand this is real, go to StopTheCrime.net new, listen to the video that Matt uh, did. It's entitled uh, Fires, Power Outages, Community Preparedness. Please listen to that video. You will meet Matt firsthand. He, keep in mind, he's up there fighting for his life. Is that in the last week? Here, Because I have him right in front of me. I, I'm trying to see what the, the title of it. Is that yeah. the one that so says about every, so four over it says... Is it the on. one that's done about uh, two days on. ago? Yeah. Hang on. For everybody that's listening, the YouTube, the name of the YouTube on StopTheCrime.net new YouTube video channel is called Fires, Fire and Power Outage Community Preparedness Meeting. You can also go to StopTheCrime.net, click on our YouTube channel, and you will scroll and see it. It's probably about six or eight uh, videos ago because right. we've been doing updates. Yeah, that's an hour and 18 minutes. That's one. Okay, I see it is. Pa yeah, Fire okay. and Power Outages is the title. Okay. So I'll yeah. post up the links and people can find it themselves and look at it later. I appreciate that, Dr. <clears throat> Bill. I will keep you informed, Dr. Bill, so that if we do any Yeah, uh, if you need to do something, even, a, uh, even if you do, you know, do a 5 or 10 minute audio blast, I can put it up on my video cha Vimeo channel to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and uh, YouTube. And okay, so for everyone that's listening, stay safe. You're not uh, you're not exempt from these types of attacks. The attacks are happening on all of us everywhere worldwide, just in different aspects of assaults right now. But it is a worldwide engaged attack against every living human being and all of our animals and all of the plants, everything right. that's living. So again, uh, I appreciate Dr. Bill. Uh, being able to get this uh, report out uh, from the scene of the crime up here in Sonoma County that's fully engaged well, in, a, in we ha the we have about, takedown. We have about 10 minutes left for you to continue adding more information. What do you want to say? Well, I, I, I'm really needing to go because we're trying to help family okay, members. Okay, you, you uh, go and I'm going to add some more science backing what you're saying. What I want yeah, people to I, know, and sometimes people say, don't interrupt uh, Deborah. look. I'm going to interrupt when I want to back up everything she says because it's true, and I want to add some science, and I want to add the, the spin of all the connecting the dots. So if you're out there and you want me to shut up, it's not going to happen. You need to understand, stop criticizing on the YouTube videos and thinking, Dr. Deagle, be silent. You shut up out there. You listen to Deborah, and when I insert a comment, it's to say, I go, Deborah, go. You've got the facts, and you're one of the bravest ladies I know. I call you General Deborah. How's that? Well, Dr. Bill, I really appreciate that, but we all have to be generals now in a, in a war that is besieging every single one of oh, us. Oh, yeah, our this is real. This is, the end of the, this is the end of the secular age on Earth. This is what's going on right now. It absolutely is. And so what my intention and, and plan is is to continue mm. reporting here. I'm getting set up now to be able to do live video feeds so that I can be actually reporting on location. Uh, right. Will you give live... me a show and I'll give you a video feed link so you can put it up on, on live video feed to, to Vimeo, YouTube, live stream, and Facebook immediately. Okay, okay so everyone, uh, just all of you, uh, start sharing all the information on StopTheCrime.net, all the YouTube videos. People are wondering how they can help. 
Well, that's how you can help. You can start getting this information out far and wide. We need your help. We are absolutely being engaged with every yeah, type and, of warfare weaponization. Uh, yeah, uh, and I can't even begin to consider uh, the economic hit here in this county. We are, again, right, right. Uh, losing small businesses, small restaurants. Uh, people are now that have rebuilt. We have people that have rebuilt their homes from the burnout of two years ago that right. are losing houses again. So I can only say they're contemplating, re obviously, relocating. They don't think they can emotionally or financially mm -hmm. take on rebuild. So right. we're, we're definitely at war. This is a multifaceted attack. They are assuring us that we're going to have massive power outages on a continuous right. basis. And this is in the climate action plans. This is all scheduled for your town. Now, right. how other fire, uh, outages will occur, they will say that there are heat events, which, of course, that they are creating. And they're going to be, with heat events, saying they've got to uh, power down the grid in order to preserve the grid. So we've already seen that happening mm. in the Midwest during well, the Well, the grid is causing a lot of the fires, too. The grid, smart well, grid, it's is causing intentionally, fires. Well, the infrastructure is now intentionally geared to fail. They're saying that right. because of climate change, uh, the grid was never built to withstand climate change. And, of course, we have mm. uh, Governor Newsom here that's fully on board with the takeover of, yeah. of every aspect of life. And, and Demonically all energized of, criminals. So, uh, Deborah, yeah, if you're going to go, I'll finish up with the last few minutes here. Give me a shot if you want to do some quick video clips, and we'll get it out immediately, okay, live. I thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bill. Thank you. You're welcome. Just give me a call. You got my number. Okay, yes, I wanted to you. deal with some science here. We're going to have other experts on that will connect the dots this week. This week on the third hour on Thursday, we have Ali Marzulli. We're going to talk about the uh, Gen 6 conference that happened in Branson. I'm trying to get Steve Quayle on, who is actually the kind of master architect of the last three uh, Gen 3 conferences in, in Branson, Missouri. You have to understand we're going to have other people connecting. Tomorrow we have Mark Gaffney talking about the the shift of the North Pole and all the science behind that in ancient archaeology. We're going to talk about this with some of the spiritual side with Ken Klein in the third hour in a few minutes here. What people need to start understanding is this is not uh, by chance. This is not not by chance. We have uh, coming up on Wednesday uh, Dr. Gary Ford, uh, MD. He's not an MD now, but he was an MD. Uh, called Midnight in Samara. He'll be on with Cody Snodgrass, the munitions expert that they try to con contract to blow up the Alfred P. Murrow building, and he refused, and they tried to kill him for it, which backs up everything I say about them being the exit examiner of the Murrow building a munitions team from Colorado Springs when we were at security clearance in, at uh, CECOM, Colorado Center for Ahmed, working for the uh, munitions team and many other classified projects. I was actually security cleared at above top secret, which is high, at or above the level of the U.S. president, you have to understand this is open to your damned opinion. This is just the way it is, okay? And uh, when I hear comments of people sometimes will say things on Deborah Tavares shows, Dr. Deagle, be silent. Stop talking. You shut up. You stop talking. You stop saying, Dr. Deagle, don't insert a comment. I want you to understand the science because what Deborah's saying, and I understand the science, she doesn't fully understand what I know about this because it's firsthand from Space Command, etc., we are in a war. This is a controlled burn. Now, I'm going to give you three different technologies I'm working on, and I heard from one of her comments that DARPA apparently had some kind of interaction. The DARPA has developed a fire retardant system that's kind of like an energy system. Number one, if we uh, literally turn air nitrogen into liquid nitrogen, we can spray it against the boundary zone to actually turn off fires and create a boundary zone with the oxygen. So I'm working on that technology. We have what's called positron beam, which is positively charged electrons. And positron beams can unwind storm systems, can unwind tornadoes, and can turn off by blocking the electron chain. And the third is the scalar technology, which I'm developing right now, which may be available really soon, which actually is tuned in actually to block oxygen so it can't transfer electrons in the fire. Because if oxygen is not available to transfer electrons to allow the fire uh, oxidative chain to occur, the fire is turned off. This direct energy weapon, if it's a scalar or phased array weapon, could literally rob oxygen from a body or an animal and literally drop to the ground. But if you aim it at a fire, it turns off the ability of oxygen to interact with the fire chain because without oxygen, there's no fire. What we have to understand is these fires are being set up on purpose with direct energy weapons from space and locally, with drying out the, uh, the area, with starting up these like Santa Ana type winds, 
with drying out the water in the groundwater table. And of course, if they set up fire breaks like they're doing here in Northern California, they're letting it burn, it's controlled burn. They're not trying to stop the duft or turning out. And then when they're saying they're turning out the power grid, the power grid itself generates sparks. So if you haven't removed the chaparral and the duft and the trees and the dead trees between them, you're going to have fires. I saw this in the 1970s in British Columbia. When I saw the firefighters and so on I worked, and I was their doctor, okay, in British Columbia. So you have to understand this is what's really going on here, and people have to understand this, that this is not uh, something that's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay. What we're dealing with is a, is a very serious problem, and people have to kind of get that, that uh, particular idea of what's happening right now. Let me see what's going on here. i got some kind of a message coming through. CRN. What do I have here? Do I have a message? Uh, <clears throat> well, that's strange. Ken Klein. Okay, well, uh, I'll see if I've got another number for our next uh, guest here, uh, and I will get that fixed up with our board op. So, okay, so that will we'll take care of that with Ken, because um, I did, did get in touch with Ken earlier, so maybe he's got another number. Uh, what people have to understand here um, is we have uh, sacred knowledge that's important to protect you. You need to prepare yourself by having fire retardant on your house. You need to have an extra power so you can have those pumps working. You should have uh, water tanks. You should not evacuate if you can protect your own home. You have to protect the duft and, and you know the fire breaks and fill up your, you know, block your your downspout so you've got water on the edge of your home, and you got fire retardant on your roof so that the, the, that if there's ember that fall, it's not going to start your roof on fire. You have to make sure you cut down trees. We cut down three Douglas firs here in the last two years. They were up to 60 feet tall near our wall because we have a wall around our entire property, about 1.3 acres. And that were, those were cut down. We removed all the particular things that could be fire accelerants. Those are all removed. So you need to do that on your own property. You also have to make sure that you have to understand that if you stay, you need to be able to protect yourself with a NIOSH mask or a Scott Air Pack so the smoke doesn't kill you. Okay? Uh, you need to make sure that you are prepared. If you do have to escape, you have an escape route and where to go and you know what your core things like your photographs and your gold or whatever you want to take with you. That you have those important things already pre-packed in your vehicle, ready to roll. <clears throat> what you have to understand is this is a real situation. Last year, we almost had to, we did, we're told we're going to have to evacuate. We uh, just at the last minute they reversed the evacuation order. We, we were going to leave last year when the fire started. This year, the fires uh, have not come to the area yet. Thank God. Uh, but uh, we've had Santa Ana winds the last few days here. And the temperatures in the mid 90s, and the temperature humidity has dropped 10 percent. So those technologies I'm talking about are future technologies, which we're working on. I want to find out what DARPA technology. Apparently, somebody contacted Deborah about some kind of fire uh, uh, blocking technology DARPA has. You have to understand these fires are being set on purpose. They want to depopulate. They want to back up all this this green agenda garbage, which the Democrats are pushing. We're not saying Donald Trump is perfect, but the man has got the economy going and he's actually supporting the police today. He's meeting in Chicago with the chiefs of police. I need to get through to Donald Trump to correct him on bad information about 5G network, which is bad, smart grid, 5G, GMO foods, and basically fracking, especially in Northern California where that frack water can trigger off major earthquakes. These are facts. They're not disputable, okay? If you disagree with me, email me or call me or have the backbone to call into the show live and I'm going to take you apart. It won't be pleasant if you disagree with me, okay? If you agree and want to just ask, ask questions, I'll answer you. But if you want to attack, it's going to be war, okay? I invite you. Have the nerve to call in and disagree. Do it. Back in a moment with Ken Klein. We'll get him on the air. The medicine for the blues.